welcome back to Modelling Misadventures. Now we're continuing today with the construction of Thunderbird 3 and this is where we got to so far with this central section of the rocket and today we're going to start having a look at the engines and the nose cone. Towards the top of the rocket there's a thing called the docking ring which helped Thunderbird 3 to dock with the space station. Now this is the part here that came with the 3D printed files. And it's a really nice part, but it actually doesn't look anything like the docking ring that you see on photographs of the original. So I've actually made another one and uh, made this on the 3D printer. And this um, structure with the sort of concentric rings without any of these ridges is a lot more realistic. So that's going to be the docking ring that I'm going to use. On top of this docking ring goes the upper section of the rocket. Then there's this little piece here, which actually is meant to be printed in black because on the real Thunderbird 3, there was a little black ring around here, but I've printed it in white and I'm going to paint it. Now this is the nose cone that actually came with the 3D printed files. And I printed it out and it looks too long and pointed to me. And so I shortened it on the printer and I'm gonna use this one instead. And that seems a lot more realistic profile according to the pictures and plans that I've been able to look at. So that is gonna be the top of the rocket and that's gonna need sanding and painting uh, before assembly. Just a bit of super glue around here. And on with the nose cone. There we are, ready for sanding. Now these are the parts for the, the three engines at the bottom. Again, they're designed to be printed in different colors, but I've printed them all in white. And these go together pretty easily. We just have a little bit that goes on the bottom and then a couple of ring pieces that go up the top. And that is what the engine looks like. So that's just gonna need gluing together, sanding and priming, and then that'll be ready for assembly. So that's the three engines and the nose cone glued together. So next phase of that will be painting. Now you can see here the effect that uh, sanding has on these parts. So these are made out of uh, PLA and when you 3D print, you always end up with these lines here. That's just a feature of the printing mechanism, the technique. But you can see over here, this is what it's like after it's been sanded and it makes a huge difference. It takes a lot of work, but it does make it an awful lot smoother. And any little imperfections that are left on here, we should be able to cover up with the filler primer. Now I've got these engines sanded and I'm just wondering what to do about these fins. These fins have to be glued on here, but there's a bit of a gap. I think I'm gonna glue these on first and fill it and then paint these engines afterwards. Otherwise, I think it's gonna be very difficult to join that on after it's been painted. So I've got the fins attached to these engines. Now the top of this engine isn't very realistic. So I've printed out this little part, which I designed and that's gonna go in there. That was what the original looked like. So these are now ready for painting with primer. These are the three engines done. They've been glued together, filled, sanded and primed. Um, I'm been, I've been trying to decide whether to glue these on before painting or after, but I've decided I'm gonna glue them on first.
Well, I've got to the end of another phase of the construction of this rocket. And you can see here that the parts are all now primed, coated with primer. Here we've got the, the bottom section with the three engines on, looking quite good. The middle section and then the upper section with the, the nose cone. So I'm going to leave it there for today, but before I go, I just wanted to show you another little Thunderbird 3 model. And this one comes from the Tracy Island playset, which was made by Matchbox. Very popular toy. This is the little Thunderbird 3 that came with it. And we're starting to get closer to what it needs to look like. So with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.